Hey guys, welcome to Tantalizing Test Buds by Rashmi. Uh, yes, today is a fish day and today's dish is called Muldani Machi. Again, it's a legacy which I have got it from my grand uh, mother-in-law and she used to make this dish like awesome. We used to really, it used to be finger licking one. So let's get going. Uh, so I need um, kingfish and I have made thin slices. Uh, after getting the fish I have washed it thoroughly and I've applied salt and I kept it for one hour after one hour I've again washed it okay so this is the fish then uh, for the masala what we need uh, we need a few cloves of garlic then ginger one green chili and coriander this is a standard fish masala this is a CKP style masala which we use and then of course we need some dry um, masalas which is dhane this is two and a half teaspoon of uh, dhane the, the akhe one the jeera and then methi so all this mixture will go and we will mix it so this is going to be our gravy for this fish i've also taken one small ball of tamarind and i have soaked it and uh, we will also need salt uh, tomato powder and chili powder this will be according to your taste so I've taken a pan, I've taken two tablespoons of oil. This dish requires a little more oil than the usual one. Uh, our uh, watan is ready. And uh, for the tarka, I'm also going to take half teaspoon of jeera and half teaspoon of um, um, methi dana. So our pan is already heated up. Our tarka looks good. Now I'll be adding our green water into this and now we have to saute this till the oil comes out of this so till then let's mix it and keep sauteing it meanwhile I'll also add this And now let's keep sauteing it till the oil comes out of this. Now you can see it has started leaving the oil behind. So this is the time when I'm going to add some tamarind juice inside. And I will also add a little water. And I will give a good mix. Can you see it's boiling really well? Now this is the time when we are going to leave our surma inside and it should be uh, kept in a proper pan it should not be on one on top of the other so this is the time we can you can put additional tamarind water here and this dish is not much of gravy type so this is what the gravy is going to be so we will allow this to cook for some time does it not look nice a nice Yummy surmai kingfish flour. Wow, looks so tempting. So now let it cook on the side of the pan now. You can also taste the gravy at this point before putting the fish. So in case if you want to add a salt or a sardness or a little uh, uh, chili powder, you can add it. Fish doesn't take much time to cook. So when it's like halfway done, uh, let's turn it around. I've already turned here three so that it will get nicely marinated also. You can see how the oil is coming out of the gravy and slowly the change the flower color also will change now. This is absolutely a delicate affair now. I have just turned them around. You can see how nice it looks and fish is already cooked. You can see the gravy is leaving uh, oil behind. So our Multani uh, Machi is ready and now we'll switch off the gas and while serving we will take the uh, the, small, uh, the gravy along with the fish a piece in the plate. We have garnished it with uh, coriander and here comes our sizzling uh, Multani Machi for y'all. Thank you.